Today, we will talk about exchange rate mechanisms. An exchange rate mechanism is a set of procedures used to manage a country's currency exchange rate relative to other currencies. Monetary policy is the process of drafting, announcing, and implementing the plan of actions taken by the central bank, currency board, or other competent monetary authority of a country that controls the quantity of money in the economy and the channels by which new money is supplied. The most notable exchange rate mechanism occurred in Europe during the late 1970s. The European Economic Community introduced the ERM in 1979, as part of the European monetary system, to reduce exchange rate variability and achieve stability before member countries moved to a single currency. In the months leading up to the 1992 event, legendary investor George Soros had built up a monumental short position in the pound sterling that became profitable if the currency fell below the lower band of the ERM. Soros recognized that Britain entered the agreement under unfavorable conditions, the rate was too high, and economic conditions were fragile. The European exchange rate mechanism dissolved by the end of the decade, but not before a successor was installed. The exchange rate mechanism too was formed in January 1999 to ensure that exchange rate fluctuations between the euro and other EU currencies did not disrupt economic stability in the single market. Here are three key takeaways. One, an exchange rate mechanism, ERM, is a way that governments can influence the relative price of their national currency in forex markets. Two, the ERM allows the central bank to tweak a currency peg in order to normalize trade and or the influence of inflation. Three, more broadly, ERM is used to keep exchange rates stable and minimize currency rate volatility in the market. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.